Yahweh, Yeshua, and the gods of Ugarit. Ten Mountains of Cosmic Conflict Ten Propositions by Dr. Galen Curragh Presuppositions The Biblical Worldview describes unseen reality in relation to geographical localities. Ancient Near Eastern peoples believed that their gods dwelt on mountains. The Bible describes major cosmic conflicts occurring on mountains. Ten Propositions 1. When the guardian cherub synod on Mount Eden, Yahweh cast him out. A river flowed out of Eden to water the garden, and there it divided and became four rivers. The name of the third river is the Tigris, and the fourth river is the Euphrates. You were in Eden, the garden of God. You were an anointed guardian cherub. I placed you, you were on the holy mountain of God. You sinned, so I cast you as a profane thing from the mountain of God, and I destroyed you. O guardian cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. 2. Mount Moriah, in Jerusalem, became a place where other deities compete with Yahweh for sacrifices. God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. God said, Take your son your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. Solomon began to build the house of the Lord in Jerusalem on Mount Moriah, where the Lord had appeared to David his father. When the king, Antiochus IV, had built an idol altar upon God's altar, he slew swine upon it, and so offered a sacrifice. It is an historical fact that the Roman Emperor Hadrian built a temple for Jupiter on the Temple Mount in 137 CE, most likely directly underneath where the dome is today. 3. It was on Mount Horeb that Yahweh made a covenant with Israel, forbidding worship of other gods. You shall have no other gods before me. The glory of the Lord dwelt on Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it six days. Therefore the people of Israel stripped themselves of their ornaments, from Mount Horeb onward. 4. When the prophet Moses died on Mount Hor, good and bad angels contended over his body. The Lord spoke to Moses, Die on the mountain which you go up, and be gathered to your people, as Aaron your brother died in Mount Hor. When the archangel Michael, contending with the devil, was disputing about the body of Moses, he did not presume to pronounce a blasphemous judgment, but said, The Lord rebuke you. 5. Yahweh sent men from Mount Tabor to beat enemies equipped with chariots. Barak had gone up to Mount Tabor. Caesar called out all his chariots, nine hundred chariots of iron, and all the men who were with him. And Deborah said to Barak, Up! For this is the day in which the Lord has given Caesar into your hand. Does not the Lord go out before you? So Barak went down from Mount Tabor. 6. On Mount Carmel, one prophet of Yahweh vanquished 450 prophets of Bachal, a Canaanite god of lightning and rain. Ahab sent to all the people of Israel and gathered the prophets together at Mount Carmel. 
And Elijah came near to all the people and said, How long will you go limping between two different opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him, but if Barkal, then follow him. The fire of the Lord fell, and when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, The Lord, he is God. 7. Fallen Gods, Israel and Yeshua, have all laid claim to Mount Hermon of Bashan. Angels, the sons of heaven, said to one another, Come, let us choose for ourselves wives, from the children of men, and let us beget, for ourselves, children. They called the mountain Hermon because on it they swore and bound one another with curses. The members of the half-tribe of Manasseh lived in the land. They were very numerous from Bashan to Barkil Hermon and Mount Hermon. Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, on Mount Hermon, he said to them, On this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. 8. Yeshua despoiled the spiritual rulers of this world by his crucifixion, resurrection, and ascension, accomplished on the Mount of Olives. Solomon did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, and built a high place for Chemosh the abomination of Moab, and for Milch the abomination of the Ammonites, on the mountain east of Jerusalem. So they took Jesus, and he went out, bearing his own cross, to the place called the place of a skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. There they crucified him. This Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet. 9. Yahweh despoils Bachal and lesser deities assembled on Mount Zaphon in favor of Mount Zion. You said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven, above the stars of God. I will set my throne on high, I will sit on the Mount of Assembly in the far reaches of the north, on the summit of Mount Zaphon. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, beautiful in elevation, is the joy of all the earth, Mount Zion, in the far north, the city of the great king. Within her citadels God has made himself known as a fortress. 10. Yahweh will reign forever over all the earth from Mount Zion, through his Messiah, Yeshua. On that day the Lord will punish the host of heaven, in heaven, and the kings of the earth, on the earth. For the Lord of hosts reigns on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, and his glory will be before his elders. You have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem and to innumerable angels in festal gathering, and to the assembly of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of the righteous made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood. Conclusion in the end time, Yahweh will make Mount Zion the capital city of Yeshua's kingdom. The former assembly of gods gathering on mountains is to be replaced with a new assembly made up of all humans who obey God's Messiah, Yeshua. Chapter 1